Hey guys, welcome back to Titan Gamers and you must be wondering what I have here on this table under this cloth. Well, our good friends at Dreamcore, our very good friends, right, built a custom Cyberpunk 2077 themed PC. Now, we gave them a challenge to create us a custom set PC and they built this within a week. I haven't seen it. I've seen glimpses of it, but there's a reason there's a cloth because, you know, I haven't taken a deep look into it and they wouldn't even tell me what are the components of this PC? All I know is that one part of this PC is actually still under embargo while I'm filming. By the time this video is out, it would have already been released. But while I'm filming, I have no idea what's inside. Here goes, okay? Alright, time to unveil the Cyberpunk 2077 Edition Zen 3. Built by Dreamcore, alright? Let's see what we have here. And... Ta-da! Ooh, I am... Where, where do I start? Okay, let me just plug it in first, okay? It's not plugged in, you know? Knowing Dreamcore, besides performance, right? They will always add an extra touch for the aesthetic. So, you know, knowing that they follow the Cyberpunk theme, yellow, black, and blue, let's see how it looks like when it's turned on. Where do I plug this in? Okay, the, the PSU is down here. I, I got it. Okay, before I turn it on even, okay? The arrangement of the pipes the 90 degree angle of it, making it look like an intersection of a traffic road in Night City. I understand that concept. It's it's amazing. It's it's smart. It's brilliant. The, the crossing of the reservoir to the motherboard, to the pipe, to the GPU here. Okay, the GPU, we have it here. Looks like it's a 2080 RTX. Okay, moving up. Okay, so it goes there. Tangles up here. Rotates up here. To the radiator here at the back. Oh, very nice. Still sticking the theme all the way down here. Back to the reservoir. Oh my goodness. Sick. Good job, Dreamcore. Kudos to you guys, okay? This is... Wow. Okay. In three, two, one. Wake the fuck up, Samurai. Yo. I, 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 ooh, it turned blue. That means it's already started up already. Oh, there's even an underglow here. You know what? Can you turn off the lights? Can we turn off this light? Oh my lord! Look, look, look at that beast. Look, look at this. Oh my. Where do I even begin, man? You don't have to worry about it overheating because it's an open concept and there's a lot of fans. You can feel the the air being pushed out here. Underglow, the GPU here, even the. The side of the GPU is lit. My goodness. Let's turn the lights back on. Okay, you know what? I, I don't want to be selfish, okay? I want to see what other people in the office thinks about this PC, alright? I, for one, on behalf of Titan Gamers, already approve of this PC build. So let's just see what the other guys from the other channels have to say about this PC. So we've got Redon. We've got Redon from <laughs> Come in. Whoa! Come in, come in. Come in. That, come in. That's, wow! Come in, come in. Whoa! I can't, you don't expect, I, I thought you say it's uh... I, I told you it was just a <laughs> computer, so I didn't expect this. <laughs> my my it whole thought cool. process, yeah. I've yeah. never seen such a design. It's, it's a PC, right? Yeah, it, it, yes. Oh my god, like a PC, it looks like something from the future I cannot understand but I want to. Oh yeah, it's a cyberpunk themed PC built by Dreamcore. And I'm looking at it like a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got Tongan from um, <laughs> we got Tom, we got Tongan from Team Titan. Okay, and here you go. Holy, what the hell? Don't touch oh, it. It looks like a, a diving tank. A diving tank. Oh, like a scuba. Yeah, a scuba, scuba tank. So basically, this is a cyberpunk uh, themed PC built by Dreamcore. Wow. And what they is... build this within a week. Seriously, can you do that? Oh. <laughs> Trev from. Chef Monkey. Okay, what's up? Alright, come here. So, what do you think? This! This. Is this for me? No, it's not oh! for any one of you! What the heck? What is this? So, this is a Cyberpunk team custom PC built by Dreamcore. For Trev. No! <laughs> oh man, what shit is so sick! Oh my gosh, how much is this? Actually, I haven't even known the price yet. Oh. Dreamcore oh, doesn't even want to tell me the price. How much, is how much do you think it is? What's the GPU? Uh, the GPU is a 2080 RTX. Okay, let me guess. I think... Um, 
2.5k? 2.5k? Around there. 2.5k. Okay, okay. At least, at least a 2.5. Just tell you that the CPU inside here, right? Yeah. It's technically under embargo. As of right now, hasn't been released. By the time this video is out, it'll be released. Yo, why you do this? Why you do this to me, man? So 2.5 is maybe still under. Under, yeah. I think it's a sick PC, guys. Not that he knows his stuff. Oh shit. Right. So we've got Fatin from Ladies First. Now I know okay. you're not really that tech minded, but can you guess what this is? Uh Mix Slashy. <laughs> what flavor do you have? Come on. You got yellow for honeydew? Blue for <laughs> I don't know. Okay, do you know what so this is? is this? I don't have no idea. This is a computer. No way la. It's a computer. Where's the monitor? That it's a PC. Be... Okay la, I mean I haven't connected the monitor and the keyboard and the mouse, but this alone okay. is a PC. Man, what is this liquid? So this is the liquid for the cooling system. So sometimes PCs will come with a uh, air cooling system and sometimes there will be liquid cooling system. So this is the reservoir. So the tube is where all the liquid goes through. This is science class. It's not okay. It, it looks like it looks very scientific, right? Yeah. That's because it's a cyberpunk theme PC. I mean, it's all over our office, so you would know, right? Cyberpunk, yeah. right? Okay, that's all you need to know. So, any thoughts about this? Besides it being a slushy maker. I think it's dope. Dope? Would you get one for yourself? You wouldn't because you don't play games. <laughs> Maybe like, if I'm smart enough, I'll maybe make a slushy maker out of it. What? Okay, thank you. You are paying gifts. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Go, 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 go. Thank you, thank you. Bye-bye. So, we got that out of the way. So, I'm not over-exaggerating when I say that this is an absolute piece of art from Dreamcore. Kudos to you guys again. Now that I've got the list, what's in this thing? Let's get on with it, alright? So, the thing that stands out here is the reservoir. So, this is the Corsair Hydro X series. This is the um, the pump reservoir combo. The reservoir goes through the pipes here, goes through the CPU on the motherboard. Like I said, there's one piece of item here that's under embargo when I'm filming this. So here it is, guys. The chip that's inside of this glorious PC is AMD's Ryzen 9 5950X. There you have it, the 5000 series. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, all right? It's up there. Basically, it's there, okay, guys? From layman terms, okay? It's like... If you think Intel is here, AMD is like... There, okay? They're there. So we'll dive a little bit more into the chip later on. So let's just continue on with the components of the PC. So we've got here our Corsair Vengeance 32 gigs uh, RGB Pro. Very nice with the yellow theme color. I like it. Dreamcore knows me very well. So this is the NVIDIA GeForce 2080 RTX. Now, I understand why would they go for a 2080 because to put a 30 series inside here would be would we have space or not oh i just realized the slots for the dp and hdmi are all below here so power is here the slot for the gpu is here there's also rgb cooling fans here on the back the radiator is black and can i just say that the tubing mechanism the whole architecture of it the, ex the aesthetic of it is really mind-blowing and also the case here front and back they are both Glass, not tempered glass, not acrylic, it's glass glass. Like, smash your head, it will break on your head and bleed. So the case here is the Antex Striker with the custom paint, keeping the theme of Cyberpunk yellow, blue, and the whole setup inside is black. Cyberpunk colors. I love it. The cables for the PSU, yellow and black, I love it. So like I mentioned earlier on, the chip inside of this PC is the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X and AMD's 5000 series CPUs are based off AMD's new Zen 3 micro architecture, codenamed Vermeer. So before this was released, everyone knew that the crown of gaming would be the Intel i9 10900K. But if the standards are here, the AMD 5000 series would be here. Well, okay, maybe not here, but like here. So say hello to the new king of gaming and content creation. <sighs> wow. I have the world's best gaming CPU right before my very eyes. And, and I can't even take it home because it's meant for the people in the office. To put things into perspective, the older Ryzen 3000 series was already leading in multi-thread performances. So can you imagine when AMD Ryzen 5000 series overtakes it? I had to crack my neck just to look up at how high. I don't have the graph, all right? So the guys at Dreamcore benchmarked it, all right? Even for single thread processing, all right? It beats the i9 hands down, okay? On average, everything performs better 
by 13%. Okay, Dreamcore has done all the benchmarking. Basically, I'm like taking an exam. They tell me everything I need to know because I literally got this today and I'm just like, oof. Shout out to Dreamcore. Once again, go check them out if you want to know more details about the whole chipset and its performance sense and all the benchmarks. Uh, I'm just here to bask in the amazingness of this whole PC build. Are you sure I can't take this home? I would give my left kidney for this. Not, not literally, okay? So for anyone who's actually considering getting the new 5000 series but are actually worried about upgrading your motherboard, you don't have to worry because AMD has held on to their promise for platform longevity. Alright, so all you need to do is just make sure that you have a 500 series motherboard and an updated BIOS and you can just put in the chipset and ta-da, you're ready to go. So don't need to worry about that. So that's all I have to say about this setup. But I also come with good news and bad news. The bad news is that Cyberpunk 2077 has been delayed until the 10th of December. But the good news is that you still have time for pre-order. So that's why remember to head on to Dreamcast website to pre-order your game of Cyberpunk 2077 because they have a giveaway as well. So when you pre-order your version of Cyberpunk 2077 with Dreamcore, you actually stand a chance to win a PC as well. M maybe not this PC, but a PC built by Dreamcore, right? So remember guys, if you have any custom PCs in your mind that you want to build or you are unfamiliar with the tech technical aspect of PC building, feel free to reach out to Dreamcore. Link is in the description below, all right? They're more than happy to help you. Every time I message Eugene from Dreamcore, he'll be so fast to reply me if that's a problem, all right? Even before this video, all right? He messaged me, he dropped the PC off. He said, if there's anything wrong with the PC, if it doesn't turn on and there's a slight leak, let me know, I'll come down straight away. That's how dedicated they are, all right guys? So check out Dreamcore, link is in the description below. You can also follow them on Facebook and Instagram at Dreamcore SG and feel free to text them all your inquiries. Don't spam message and ask them whether you can keep this, all right? That's my task to do. I am going to spam them about keeping this. Once again, like I mentioned earlier on, there's a giveaway happening on Dreamcore. All you have to do is just pre-order your Cyberpunk 2077 game with them and you stand a chance to win a Dreamcore Alpha an APOL Kraken gaming chair, you get 5% off your Steam wallet and also you stand a chance to win the Cyberpunk Collector's Edition. You cannot find a deal better than at Dreamcore. Once again guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Titan Gamers. As usual, remember to subscribe to the channel, watch our previous video, like this video, comment down below what other games you would like to see us run on this beast of a PC. And until then, stay safe and see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Now, I know some of you might actually comment on this and why the liquid is not filled to the brim. This is because you leave some space here of air space, right? So that the bubbles will be able to bleed and, you know, just for air to flow. And this is actually the recommended height. So before you guys talk so much about this, yeah, this is actually the recommended height. Dreamcore knows their stuff.